is really going on? Man, I'm not responsible for nothing. I'm gonna be honest. Juvenile and did it from from back that thing up to it's been done over and over again. I just kind of everybody kind of finds out how to slip into that panty hole. Don't don't take that the wrong way. Just to like the panty song or the, anything dealing with sex. Everybody have like a sexy song that works every year. So I just look at it like God blessed me to have the one this year. Okay. Now you said R and B was dead. Is it back alive now? Yeah. When did it die? And when did it come back? Man, I, well, actually, um, it was kind of dead for a minute because rap was kind of took over everything. But then you had Jill Scott coming. Um, D'Angelo came with his new album. Um, Tony Braxton came back. Destiny Child did their thing. Um, I did a little something. Uh, Avant. Um, who else? Next did a little something. Everybody, it, 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 we we, we kind of got the point. I think everybody got the message when, when rap kind of took over everything about two years ago. So I don't think it's dead now. However, um, I do believe that even though the standard has been raised on music and everybody's pretty much dropping some hot stuff, I'm ready to hear a different sound. All right, where are we so, going to hear this new sound? reason for the record label? Uh, for my record label? Yeah. Um, actually, um, me coming up with a, with a new sound has basically been kind of... Um, something I got from Madonna, Michael, Janet. Every time they come back, they got a new sound, a new look. It's fresh, it's new, it's different. And um, basically, that's what I plan on doing with my new acts as well as um, my new music. Uh, and I think you guys will hear that with my new song coming out on um, the title track for Chris Rock's movie. I don't really know the name of the movie yet, okay. but I saw it, it was funny. What's the name of the um, track? The name of the track is Infatuated, and it's coming out in about two weeks Great. yeah we like to stay hot I don't, me personally I, I, I don't uh, I, I know how it feels to be watching the Grammys and um, somebody gets nominated who got something out recent and then somebody gets nominated they got that drop the thong song six months ago and then he win and then you mad because Nelly got EI out right now so I basically decided that I wanted to have something new out for when I go to the Grammys so that you know, the haters that's like, oh, I get it. That song came out last year. I got something new for y'all. Drew Hill. You're when, almost I'm waiting for Drew Hill. Mm -hmm. New Drew. When you guys going to do this? We got a now. new Drew. Wait. No, it wasn't going to happen. Don't play. It wasn't going to happen. Oh, okay. But now it's about to happen again. We got some new st uh, developments with the Drew situation. Uh, we recorded a new song called Without You, and we're looking to place it uh, sometime before summer. So that's on your that should album, be. Though, right? Yeah, that song is on my album. How you know that? You told me in uh, Vegas. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that song's ill too. What happened between you guys that you, you guys are now thinking about recording a full album? Um, basically grew up, you know, we kind of looked around and was like, uh, we all realized that we could basically do with or without each other, but working together would, would probably be more beneficial to all of us. Um, so we basically swallowed our pride, looked in the mirror, tried to grow up as men. We still got a lot more lessons to learn. But, um... We definitely gonna pull it together and come up with something pretty entertaining for you probably this summer. New album is Return of the Dragon, and is it? Yeah, really Return finished? of the Dragon. I'm I'm halfway done now. I had to stop uh, approximately two months ago because I was almost finished two months ago. Who's so, some of the producers on there? Uh, some of the producers on my album, I pretty much work with like one dude, um, the same guy who uh, did uh, got to get it with me, Al West. Oh, he also yeah. produced um, he also produced Infatuated. That's about to come out. And uh, basically, I'm, I came up. Oh, you know who else I'm working with? Ooh. Teddy Riley. All right, that's my Yo, buddy. he's ill, and he got yeah, he he yeah. wrote me about two smashes. So um, so I got some hot stuff coming, and then I got some other hot stuff on my album coming. So I'm trying my best to duplicate some of the success that Michael did back with Billie Jean Beat It Thriller. I'm gonna try to do that. Now Thanks. your clothing line too. When are we gonna see pieces from that? Oh, I got something right here. We selling these this spring. Isn't this cool? A little dragon necklace. So you can wear it like mine, just like me. Can you describe it? Because we can't see it from radio. I'm sorry. It's like you know those little glow necklaces that everybody has at all the parties. It's normally in the shape of a cross or a gem. Well, now it's in the shape of a dragon, and you can get it this spring at my tour. How I'm going on tour this summer. So when they come to your tour, they can buy it at the table? Uh-huh, you can get it that as well as um, we have like these little keychains that it's like shaped like a uh, like a radio. It plays a thong song, and it's probably <laughs> going to play Infatuated too. And uh, we also have a, I got a doll coming out. 
Now, normally the whole doll thing is corny, but what if somebody walked up to you and said they wanted to make a doll of you? Me personally, I was like, yeah! So it'll be a doll out too. All right, but what color hair will the doll have? Um, actually, we're having problems with that right now because the doll has approximately three different hairstyles. And uh, the, the uh, toy company is basically trying to find out what's the new style so they won't put out the toy with the old style. So, um, <laughs> so that uh, depends on what you're going to do with your Yeah, hair, my right? new style is pretty much like this ball right here. Two more questions. See, it's kind of dirty, but it still got a smile on it. That's my new image. What was going through your head when they announced your name to be nominated for a Grammy? I almost really didn't hear it. Because I'm, norm, I'm so, uh, uh, for the past four years, uh, the first year of my career, Drew Hill won several awards. We never been nominated for a Grammy uh, ever, so this is my first time. Um, the second two years, we kind of got used to losing. We lost a lot of awards. We were nominated for like American Music Award, lost that, lost like a two Soul Train Awards, lost all the Billboard. We lost everything, so I kind of got in a kind of losing mode. God, God bless you. When so it sank like, in, how'd you feel? When it sank in and we was losing? No, that this, I this stuff. Oh, that we, it's, well, I'm kind of like, if I lose, I won't die. But if I win, I'll be kind of like this ball. Kind of dirty with a smile on it. Yeah, but you're doing so many other things. You got a new movie. You got a movie you're working on. You got but I want the Grammy, Jack. I ain't going to lie. Right, yeah. I want the Tell Grammy. Tell about the new record. The new record's almost done. I'm halfway finished now. I'm working with uh, producers Al West and uh, Teddy Riley right now. Um, Teddy wrote me some really hot stuff and uh al west produced a new song that i'm about to drop in about two weeks called infatuated